Hello, my creative peeps. It's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. I'm just getting set up so I can see comments here. We are playing with the snail mail bundle. I hope you've enjoyed the projects you've seen so far. This set, when I saw it in the catalog, oh my gosh, I was so excited. There we go. So um, it's got the cutest designer series paper and then you have an, an extra large postage stamp here. You have a little thing that makes an envelope, or you can use this um, as a postage stamp as well. And then there's dies for the snails and the mushrooms and the word and the heart. And it's just a fun set, you guys. It's just, I've had so much fun playing with it. And on Pinterest, there's so many stinking ideas for this set. So let me show you what we're gonna be making today because that's what you're probably all wondering about. We're making this fun little pencil pouch. Now, my little guy fell off down here, so I was gonna make two on when we're making this project so I could put one there, because I don't know what happened to it. But this is a super simple project, and what inspired it was I made one for um, a friend that actually was, her daughter was getting ready to go back to school um, in the classroom for, um, I think two days a week and I wanted to give her something fun for her first day of class. And so that's what inspired my project. But what you're going to need is we have some real red cardstock here and this cardstock is cut two by 11 inches. And then I have some designer series paper here. I cut two of the postage stamps out. You only really need one. And then I have two other little pieces. One is five by one and three quarters, and the other is two and three quarters by one and three quarters. And then I have a scrap piece of Whisper White that we're gonna do some stamping on. So let's go ahead and get the stamping out of the way so that we can um, put together our project. So I'm just going to use my the little snail. And if you haven't noticed, I clipped the saying off of it um, just because I liked, I knew I was going to use that more. So, so um, that's what I did here. So let's go ahead and we're going to stamp two because I got to make one for my other one. Hi, Katina. It's been a crazy couple weeks. How are you? Okay, so that's done. Let's go ahead and clean that off really quick. And before we color him in and we have our block out, let's go ahead and write, or let's stamp our sentiment on our little postage um, stamp there. So for that, we're going to be using some Bermuda Bay. I would never have cut my stamps until you guys showed me that. <laughs> I was always scared. <laughs> I guess the worst that can happen is, there we go. So that just says hello. The worst that can, ha can happen is I just would need to buy the stamp set again. Um, right? Okay. So we're done with all of our stamping. Let's go ahead and color in our little guy. So I'm using the following colors. I'm using a little bit of Pool Party, some Mango Melody, some Real Red, and some Flirty Flamingo. So on the red, I'm just actually going to do the heart, and I'm just going to color that in with the light red. Okay. And then his body, I was going to make the Mango Melody. Um, and I'm just going to start with the dark. I always like to start with the dark. 
I know some people do it differently. I just seem to have a better luck blending when I do that. And then we'll come in with that light. I'm actually kind of just using all light colors mostly, except for some highlighting here and there. Okay. And then I'm going to take the light pool party and I'm just going to color in the envelope. Oh, oh, I it's probably seems like um a lot, but really it's just my five. Well, no, actually, you're right. I have been doing a few more. I've been kind of inspired lately to do a few extra on some of them. Okay. Last little bit here and then we'll cut them out. I just think they're so stinking cute. How, who couldn't smile when you look at these little guys? Happy mail, happy mail, happy mail. Okay, so let's get out the die for him or her, whichever you prefer. Oh, is there not a die for this one? I thought I die cut this one. Oh, I did. Okay. I did. Thank you, Katina. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of post-it tape. We're going to bring in our mini cut emboss machine. We're going to cut these out really quick. I moved that. Okay. And then we got one more to do because remember I told you my sample, the one, one fell off my sample. So we got to do two of these puppies. Two of them. Okay. Okay, so now we're done with our stamp and emboss machine. We're done with all of our stamping. Now we can put the project together. Took me a while, right? Okay, let's get rid of all of our pieces here. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. And we are going to score our real red cardstock that is, so it's two inches by 11 inches. And on the 11 inch side, um, we are going to score it at three and an eighth and three and a half. So I'm going to score it at three and an eighth and three and a half. Tough, right? That's all, folks. Then we're going to bring our bone folder in and we're going to burnish those score lines. Yes, I love the mini cut and emboss machine. 
I have it right on my desk as well. Okay, now we're gonna go a little rogue, you guys, because I like this corner rounder better. It's my Creative Memories one from a long time ago. So we're just gonna punch the corners on both ends, which means that we gotta also do the corners of our designer series paper, okay? So make sure if it's directional that you're doing the top Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to glue down our designer series paper to the inside. And on this one, just so you guys know, I re I like flipped it over, but I think that was too much white for me. Well, let's see. Let's see what it looks like. I think it's too much white with our little, our little, no, it's not. Okay. I am changing it up then. Okay. So now I'm going to put this one on the front piece. Okay. Now, we're done with that glue. So now what we wanna do is you're gonna take your tailored tag punch, okay? And in the center, so keeping this flat, you want to punch a hole through both layers just like this. Or actually, and then line that up. Sorry if I was off camera there a little bit. Just like that, okay? So it makes a notch for your ribbon to hold into. So now you're gonna put your pencils in and this one has three. I ran out of pencils, my friends. So this only has the two. And then you're going to take some pool party ribbon. And you're going to tie it shut. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to make your bow. And you're going to cut that off. Just like that. And then you're going to come in with some dimensionals. And you are going to put a dimensional on the back of your little post-it here. And line those up right like that. And then we need to add our snail to the bottom of our pencil pouch so I'm going to put some dimensionals on them and then this one okay Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I like to use the punches in a different way there. Okay, so there's that one. And then we're going to put some Wink Estella on them. And then there 
there's that one. And then we're almost done with our project, you guys. It would have been cute to add googly eyes. But there you go. Our little pencil pouch. So I hope you guys had fun creating with me today. Um, until next time. So next week we'll be back to our regular schedule. Um, or at least I should be. And then, um, so we'll be have Thursday, we'll have Facebook Live. And then Friday should be a YouTube video. So I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Thank you. And um, I hope you guys have a, a good weekend and stay safe and warm and all those fun things. Bye, my creative peeps. Bye-bye.